Hi Unity fans, I have again a request on how I implemented the C# -sharp script I used for the smooth camera movement in my last tutorial. This was about the wind vertex shader and I added the script to move the camera to different positions when I pressed the right and left arrow keys. I used it to move here to the wind vertex shader features, so when I press the right arrow key I move to the right and left arrow key I move to the left. Pretty simple. The only thing you have to do is to add the move camera script to your camera and as a parameter I defined a vector3 array with positions and these are kind of waypoints or stop points for the camera. To find these points you can just move the camera to a particular position and then you copy this position to the appropriate element in the positions array. Alright, now let's see how this is implemented, it's very simple c -sharp code. I added this script to my Patreon and you can get it from there for free. The name of the class is MoveCamera and here is the Vector3 array with the camera's positions. And there's a private member called CurrentIndex which identifies the current index of the positions array. Now in the update method I check if the user pressed the right arrow key. Then I increment the index if we didn't reach the upper limit of the positions array. And when the left arrow key is pressed I decrement the index if it isn't zero already. And after that I set the position of the camera with linear interpolation. And this can be done by using the lerp method of the vector3d class. This interpolation I use to get a smooth movement for the camera. The speed of the interpolation is set to 2 which might be a nice value, but I want to define a variable for this, so that we can define this speed in the editor. Ok, and here I'm back in the Unity editor, and the speed variable is available, and let's try a lower value to decrease the speed. So this takes longer till the next point is reached, and when I increase the speed to let's say 5, it looks like this. Ok, looks also great. So if you like the script, go to my Patreon and download it for free. And if you think, hey, this guy makes great tutorials, then don't forget to subscribe and consider being my Patreon, this would really help to create more and more tutorials for you. Thank you guys for watching, thanks for your support and I hope you come back soon to JNM.